What's up my financial friends? It's Sam here. A lot of people want side hustles these days. It's the big thing right now to work outside of your normal job on something that you like and get paid for it. So back in the day you might be able to just go to your 9 to 5 and then be done. But a lot of the time now people want the extra freedom from extra money. So they're willing to put in work outside of their 9 to 5. So a lot of people have ways about going about this. Gary V specifically talks about eating dirt for years and then you get paid for it. So I'm going to be talking to you about how we ate dirt to start my side hustle and how it's helping us today. So back when I was in sixth grade, my dad and I went to a training session. It was an eight week session and we worked on jumping and quickness and strength and all that kind of stuff. And after doing that, we thought that we could take it to our school and my dad ran it, but I was part of the first sections of it that really tried it out and started to get it better throughout time, um, making it more efficient and making it as beneficial to the athletes as possible for each sport that we did it in. So starting in seventh grade, we started working with our local high school, um, and I was part of that group. We did that through my senior year in high school, and we started working with larger and larger groups. At the beginning, it was only eight people, and then we started working with eventually 20 people or so. So it got pretty big, um, and then I went off to college. My dad kept on doing it with a local high school, but we started wanting to get paid for it because we were putting in all this effort, and we weren't really getting much in return. Of course, we were getting the satisfaction of helping high schoolers, but doing this so many hours each week, even when you know there's other stuff going on or it's snowing really hard out and you don't really feel like going and driving 20 minutes through the snow to get there, it started to become a little bit more of a grind, especially when I wasn't there. So we started charging for training. So that high school wouldn't go and uh, pay for us to do it there. And maybe that's because they didn't want to pay for it or whether it's just because they had it free for so many years, they didn't want to start paying now. We went to a different high school that we had an in at, and we started charging them money. So we charged them you know, a set amount, and then they pay it, and it's great for everyone because we get paid, they get great training that makes their team better. That team ended up going to the state finals in basketball a couple years ago in our biggest division here in Michigan. So that gave us a little bit better reputation even. So it really helped out. We got more business and more business. We work with a girls basketball team now, but we've worked with you know seven or eight different sports, men's and women's. And it just started from working with a couple, you know, six people for free a couple times a week. And we did that for free for five or six years. So we really did what Gary V says. We ate dirt. We worked for free. We worked hard. We uh, made it as efficient as possible. We provided more value than what we were asking, obviously, because it was for free. But we were giving them so much value. People were increasing in strength and quickness and jumping. We got way better at how we coached. We got better at the exercises that we taught. We got better at timing and measuring athletes, whether they were too tired to do an exercise or whether we need um, to grind even more because they didn't get enough in yet. So we got a lot better personally at coaching and then we also got better at our program. So we've changed it so it's specific to every sport, but really now it's a well-oiled machine and we're doing that four times a week, four or five days a week, and we're going with four or five different groups at a time. And we do these for eight weeks at a time, and then we have a couple weeks off or a month off, and then we start up again. So really, there are four seasons for us in the fall, winter, spring, and summer. So this really allows me to pay for my lifestyle while letting my nine to five job pay for everything else. So right now, all my uh, all my money from my job is paying for my student loans, while this money from training outside in my side hustle is paying for everything else in my life. Of course, I live at home right now trying to pay off these loans, but really I'm looking at a good amount of money from this side hustle, and it allows me just to kill that debt with all my other money. So that is great. It's also somewhat passive because my dad and I both do it, but the days that I work, um, I work actually till seven o'clock instead of five o'clock. I go nine to seven, four days a week. 
this means that some days I can't make it to the training, so my dad will do the training. So he actually works more than I do, but I make less money from it because we split up the company. So it's somewhat passive in that if I can't go to a workout, it's not like the end of the world. We'll still get paid for it. We already got paid for it. So in that sense, it's somewhat passive because it's not a constant strain to make sure that I have to be there because one of us will be there all the time. So in the future, we really want to ramp this up even more. This is my first year being able to do this full time and not just stopping home on a break for a couple workouts. And my dad used to coach high school basketball too. So this is his first year off in a while where he can focus on training. And we really want to ramp this up to about two or three times what it's at now because that way I'll be able to pay you know, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 extra towards my loans and then my dad will make some extra money too. So we really have put in the work, um, starting off for free for several years, really working on the craft, making sure that it was super valuable before we started charging people for it because you want to put your best foot forward and make sure that your product is superior and that you're also not charging more than it's worth and you're also charging in accordance to other people around you. We have some people around us that do this, that charge $20 a workout, $30 a workout for these massive groups, and we charge a lot less than that. So this provides a value. It provides another outlet where we still make a good amount of money, but we don't have a lot of overhead. We go directly to the schools that we work with, so we have no overhead, basically. We just pay ourselves from the money that we receive. So this is a great way to make more money. If you're someone that has a lot of knowledge of some specific area that people find beneficial, then you can do something like this. Like parents obviously will give their kids just about anything. So this is really beneficial to us. They get something great out of it. Their kid becomes stronger, quicker, jumps higher. They also have more confidence and they also can do a lot more in their sport and feel a lot better about themselves. And then we also get paid for our hard work. So this is a great way that helps everyone and it's really valuable to everyone in it. So if you have something like this where people will pay you for doing something that you like to do and you would probably do anyways, whether it's software engineering or designing um, graphics or anything like this, you can do it too. So try to get this started. Maybe do some pro bono work. Do it for free for a little bit until you really get a sense of what you can do for how much and then start asking for money from people. So if you like this kind of content, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'd love to talk more in depth about this side hustle or whatever you guys want to talk about. Hit the bell notification or share to other people that you think might like this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.